So Mark, we're, we're still in the Civic Centre and the, the final planning application has been approved by the council. Just for, for the Brentford fans and the, the lay people out there, almost what happens next? So, well firstly we're very grateful, um, firstly to the councillors tonight for uh, approving the scheme and also to the, um, the, the raft of specialists that have worked hard with the club um, along with Connor and the rest of the team in, uh, in, getting, the, uh, in getting the scheme to where we are now. So uh, our exciting future um, pretty much starts now. There's some other um, process to go through, there's due process as there always is with this thing. What we very much hope now is that um, in the first quarter of, of 2018 we're going to be able to get on the site, having having cleared the site, we're able to start uh, putting the piling mat down, which uh, basically means the start of the building, and, and hopefully, sl surely, but surely, slowly but surely, fans will start seeing uh, the new stadium rise out of the ground. And there's been a lot of people who've done an, an awful lot of hard work to, to get the club to to this stage, and there'll be hard work still to come. Yeah, we've had all the specialists, and in fact, we've had a good good number of fans who've taken the time out their own uh, out their own evening, probably to escape. I'm celebrity to come here tonight to uh, just to show that there's a uh, there's real support from supporters for the um, for the scheme and so we're, we're grateful to everyone that's been involved in this it's been a, a you know talk about team effort it's a real collective team effort this it's uh, it's taken a, a big number of people to get us here and the fans undoubtedly have played their uh, their part and for the club as a whole and for the community sports trust and so many different parts of the club it's as you said it's, it's a bright future coming with this new with this new stadium yeah as the people heard tonight we think that the the, the, the new scheme will actually enhance what uh, are already superb community sports Sports Trust does gives them a dedicated office space, more office space. Um, they're able to use it on match days, which might not have been the case had their offices been located in the stadium. And so, um, you know, it, the, the key thing for us was that uh, it, none of this got in the way of the work that our community Sports Trust does. And if anything, this will enhance the work that Lee's team and add to uh, what they're able to achieve with our local communities. And just away from tonight, something else that was mentioned today is uh, free coach travel and, and £10 tickets for, for the Norwich game on the, the 22nd of December. Yeah, well, credit to Norwich for um, being very creative in their pricing for the Friday night before Christmas. I think it was a very sensible decision to do that and, and great that they offered it to visiting supporters as well. And we just thought on the back of that, the team are playing so well that at, uh, what we, we know it's difficult for our supporters to get up to East Anglia on a Friday night. They've now got cheap tickets. We're now providing um, free coach space for those people that, for whatever reason can't get up by car or by train and the idea is that we set out our allocation and give the players the, their football um, deserves so uh, it'd be a key game and it'd be great to go uh, go into Christmas and face Aston Villa live in front of the nation on the back of three points and we know what happened to us at Norwich last year and with the full backing of uh, B supporters which we hope now we've we've done pretty much everything we can to to encourage with a full backing um, we'd like to go to Norwich and, uh, and pinch all three points this season.